day in the life of the pottery studio. So, here we go. All right, the ADD is already kicking in hard. Been trying to start this video for two hours now. But we got a lot to get done today. I've got all this stuff to glaze. Ooh wee. And I just checked my glazes and one of them is missing. Okay, it's not missing. I'm just out of it. So I need to make some more glaze. So let's get to that. Turns out we ain't got no time for that. I gotta get all this stuff done way too soon. So now it's time to organize. We're gonna grab these, put them where they're gonna get glazed. So let's get organized and get going. Put them in over here. Looks good. Let's do this. In the middle of that, I found some daggone mugs that won't wax. You can tell they're not waxed because the bottom of them ain't shiny. If you don't wax it, the glaze sticks to it and it's really annoying to wipe it off. So I gotta get these waxed up. Cut the camera off, boy. So one of the reasons why I said I was so ADD today is because I just had a lot going on. Had somebody walk into the shop today, a local potter, and he offered me a brand new table and his old wedging table. And then I got thinking I'm just gonna redo the whole studio because what I should be thinking about instead of glazing is definitely redoing my studio right now. But isn't that the creative life? You're just constantly getting distracted by stuff. Your ADD is like, what? So then I spent maybe an hour with a four foot level that I was using to measure everything around and I just uh, walked around the studio and was getting some ideas. So this is probably gonna be a vlog pretty soon of the studio transformation. So what kind of stuff have you put in your studio that was a waste of time? And what kind of things did you put in your studio that you can't live without? Because that's, that's what I need to know. I need to uh, get rid of a lot of the uh, stuff that I don't need because this place is pretty gross right now. Well, that took longer than I was hoping. Also got more distracted. Ugh. So what have I been doing? Why am I in such a rush to get all my wholesale clients more work? Well, I hurt myself. I hurt my wrist and hurt this ligament here. And if you've ever thrown pottery before, you know, you kind of need your wrist to be able to throw. So I didn't make any pottery for like two months. Then everybody ran out of everything. So trying to get caught back up. Here we are. Also ran out of glaze. So I had to make a bunch of glazes, which I already talked about. But yeah, not only was I trying to recover from being injured, but I was also trying to recover from being burned out. That's a whole other video and we don't really have time for that one right now. Let's just mix up some glaze. All right, so we've got a lot of Shino to get done. So let's get after it. Baba Ganesh. Side note, y'all ever had this kombucha? My close up. Oh, we were in manual focus this whole time. That's gonna suck. That's what I'm talking about. The Moore kombucha for everyone. It's delicious. We out here cracking cans. Okay, this is gonna be just dead air. I lost what I do with the pitcher of water. I just lose stuff all day in the studio. There it is. I just set things down and they disappear. I'll be honest with you guys, it feels good to be making videos again. I'm sorry if this one's a little bit scatterbrained. My brain has been scatterbrained lately. What is in the stuff on my kiln shelf? This glazing took me four days. First day, I got nothing done and decided it was time to start another vlog. But, like I mentioned before, you haven't seen a lot of me because I just burned out. I was just doing too much last year. All I was doing was sitting in the studio and it got to the point where I just couldn't do it. I would just sit here, come into the studio and just sit here. Where's my kombucha? <sighs> After hurting my wrist, not being able to do pottery for two months, kind of come in with a refreshed mental state. And it feels pretty good, I'll be honest. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna make a big push for online sales this year. Not gonna be doing as many art shows, but I've got a ton of video ideas. 
And at this point, I really think I like making videos more than I like making pottery. But videos don't pay my bills. So, we gotta start making some money. So, here we go. Time to get her done. Maybe we'll add some tasty B-roll in here. Who knows? It's hard to say, honestly. But, uh, yeah. So, we're back, baby. We're back, you know. Had a lot of stuff going on, but we're here. So yeah, it's been a crazy winter. Seriously, it's so good. Probably gonna fast forward this, show you a little loading here. We gotta, we gotta speed things along after all. But yeah, it feels good to be back. I think a couple of the next videos are gonna be redoing the studio. I mean, I did just get a brand new table. I also have a ton of clay that needs to be reclaimed and I've never done it. I'm a little nervous. Do you guys even like the vlog style? Would you rather see something else? I don't know. Tell me what you think. Also, this probably kills some of you guys how empty my count is right now. But like I said, I have a lot that I get caught up on. I've been injured. I've been struggling mentally to create. And this is all I could get done. But sometimes you just got to do it, you know? I'm like, all right, I got to fire the count. I got to get stuff out. Even if it's not everything I wanted. So I think I've got about 75 pieces going in this kiln which for a lot of you guys might be a lot, but this kiln with this size mug, I should probably be able to get 150. So that kind of sucks, but we got to get fired. We got to get it out. So we push on. Like I said, not the fullest kiln you've ever seen me load on here. I mean, look at all this room that I still have. Less than ideal, for sure. With a little movie magic though, we can just shut this kiln and check out them results. Okay, wasn't that quick. Wow. Okay, actually, I don't even think I told you about this one. Look at this, this is a new test. Can you see the colors good enough? It's a green and black. I kind of like that a lot. But yeah, everything's done. Look at that. Isn't it so good? Now we gotta get these taken over. Oh, it came out a little thin, but I kind of like it. Yeah. Ooh, got little bubbles. I just love the depth of color you get on this glaze. I don't even know if those were focusing. But yeah, look at that one. Hoo wee Ooh, yeah, the little espresso guy. It's just crazy. You never really know what you're going to get. And then, you know, the classic spoon rest. So, all right, let's get this loaded up. We got to take it to the coffee shop. Y'all have said it like a hundred times. These carts right here are so nice. You can just roll them around. I rolled everything out to go sand it outside. Because don't be sanding inside. You get that silicosis. Carts on wheels are the best. It feels really good to get stuff out again. After hurting my wrist, I wasn't really sure if I should switch careers or what, you know, it was a, yeah, the combination of being heavily burned out and then also injuring yourself, it really makes it where you're just like, what am I even doing? Like, is this really worth it? So, it feels good to be creating again and be back on YouTube, you know? I, it was funny, I, I would get notifications on my phone and it would be like, oh, you've got, you know, new subscribers on YouTube. And I'm like, how are people still watching this? So, I'm glad you people found me because you kind of brought me back. Getting back into that creative mode has been pretty, pretty fun for me. It's a joy to be able to create things people actually want, but hold on. Let me just show you now, look at this. Let's, let's, let's zoom in on this one. Look at this. This is just so, the colors that you get, like this purple, it's probably not gonna show up. It's just so nice. Yeah, that's probably not showing up. Probably not showing up. You probably don't know what I'm talking about. You're like, man, this, this boy is crazy. He's talking about being injured. He probably on them pain pills. Nah, 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 nah. The Tetris of packing this order up is nonetheless getting to me. All right, that's it. 
that looks pretty haggard. So, but anyways, let's count them up. 23. Didn't quite make, I was supposed to make 50. Somehow, got lost in the sauce. I don't know. So we got them packed up, Costco boxes. You know, free boxes. This way I can just drop it, not worry about it. Y'all keep them, it's cool. All right, let's carry it over. This coffee shop is in the same complex as me, so it's really easy. I still drive it over, because it's on the other side. And I don't really trust myself carrying those large boxes full of snow, or full of mugs in the snow. Anyways, they're a great fit, they're awesome. People love them, they're a local coffee shop. They've got two locations, so make mugs for both of those. You can kind of check out the space in there. They roast a lot of their own coffee. So if you're ever in the Winter Park, Fraser, Granby area, check out Rocky Mountain Roastery. I don't sell their mugs online. They do all of their own selling. I just make the mugs for them. So if you're interested in buying them, don't ask me, because I can't sell them to you. But yeah, that's the coffee shop. So make a bunch of mugs for them all year long. Spring break time right now, so gotta get them in. While well, business is good. How'd you like how those glazes turned out, huh? Pretty delicious some good soup but let me know in the comments what you want me to be making stuff on like I said I've been gone for a minute so what has changed in YouTube all right I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna get rolling the re with the rest of this get this place flipped all right check out this video over here if you want to see something else we've done and if you want to see how the studio renovation goes click up here and I gotta eat this soup it's delicious I'm tired of talking but I love you peace out